Yo, do you know Nico and Sully? Then also check the boxes uh, left there. The Nico guy sells furniture, right? Yeah, they're furniture people, yeah. They live in Mirror Park. They're like near nearby house. Yeah. They have a little crew that are farming. Um and they told me that they already been approached by every group in it pretty much. Sandy, Saints, and uh the Ballas. Well not Ballas, sorry, uh Manor, just out on Bala Block. Mm -hmm. They said it's really hard to beat the price the Saints give because the Saints are willing to give them uh each baggie for eighteen dollars. Okay. So whatever. But so yeah, as, as you can see yeah, so everyone's pretty much trying to do that, right? They poach people, yeah, I mean, give no them crazy shit. numbers. But I think they, they quite like me. And if we can, I don't know, we, we can, we can maybe strike a nice deal and bring them in. Because they they were thinking the whole time, because everyone else, they want other people to be, you know, buy into the turf and then do the app themselves. Whereas we, we provide the form, right? We get the chips, put them on the app. That's a lot of headache taken away. Yeah, that's a lot of money, though. I mean, yeah, we gotta figure it out, right? Do you want to talk to him and hear him out? Yeah, yeah, I can, I can speak to him. Uh, can you give me a little right. bit though, like can you tell him. Give me a second. Uh, Let me know. Hey, y'all fuck with a new whip? Ah, uh, yeah, I see you. <laughs> Wait, what? No, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying. Hey, hey, hey! So, not just bought this, dog. Mm, I just bought that. Bitch? We was hitting three hundred. I, I, I just bought this about weed money, dog. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know, nice. you know, you know how be on my, you know how be so, so get us my own money. Part of the car, right? All right, yeah. <laughs> no, just my, one of my daily drivers, Doug. You know how it is. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Nico, you know, just something like sure you met some of these fucking. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I think in the future already. And Nico, my dog, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 there you go. Uh, Sully's not around, is he? Nah, sleeping. Okay. That's all good. So tell me what you were telling me, because they already know why we're here. It's about to be right. You're the fourth group that approached us. Um, the first group that approached us and we had a deal with was Company. That's when we had the oh, trail up on Sandy, because it was easy, you know, just walk out the door, sell a bit, and just fucking be happy with it. Uh, we have access to Saints Turf and Mana Turf as well. It's just... Now y'all approaching us, it's just a matter of fact on where I use my people and resources to push that turf properly. Like, I okay. have motherfuckers that can push a lot of shit. Hmm. How many, uh, how many people like, have you got? Right now, five, but expanding and introducing more people, like, I want to make sure they know what they're doing before they're doing it. So I'm just not grabbing someone new and send them on the block because that's just throw shade to me. And I'm getting in risk on getting one of my houses raided. So I'm not doing that shit. I want them to know what they're doing before they're doing it. Like no fucking, yeah. no more fucking slacking shit like that. Like they need to know the basics and the advanced shit. Right. So, uh, so what have you been uh, what have you been offered by these other you know these other, other groups? Buying on the turf, um, get however fucking many bags I want. Like Mana said, I could grab five k a day. Won't matter. Um, Saints, same thing, pretty much. And yeah, com company is probably the the most expensive per bag. Um, but yeah, I, I think the company one is the least likely we're going to do because we're trying to build something, right? We want to make a name for ourselves. And why the fuck would you join the top dog if you want to build something? Well, you know, the top dog for now, you know, there's a, there's a longevity to this thing. You know what I mean? I don't think those guys are going to yeah. last. You see what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, they got the manpower. Yeah, but you know. And they got grinders. Yeah, we'll see. You know, give us some time. Give us some time, you know. Rome wasn't no. built in a day. You see what I'm saying? I mean, That's they true. definitely don't have their safe space up there. I mean, they definitely have people looking out for them. Or looking that... to replace them on the top dog position. 
So say again how uh, the whole app thing worked from, from their perspective. Like what they wanted you to do. Like they wanted you like to so, set, set up your stuff and buy into it, right? Yeah, pretty much. Like on Saints right now, they like two of my homies are just on their main HQ to sell. But we would just be able to just link our HQ with the turf, like just buy in for the 10k and just put on anyone I want. So what are what are the what are the saints and uh, mana guys offered you? I mean, pretty much the same thing y'all offered me. What have we offered? How much are they doing per bag? You said the what have saints we offered? are eighteen dollars per bag, you right? Yeah, the saint, uh, saint. I I would have to talk to Sully, right? Because I'm not pushing it myself, so I don't know the exact profit margin. Uh, but I think the saints are the highest profit margin so far. Um, mana is offering like 32 a bag, and you only make like double the profit. Yeah, is your or main main concern? Uh, is your main concern like income? Like how much money you're making in your group? Um, it's not my main concern, but I also want to have my boys be able to have money in their pockets, right? Yeah. And if we have deals to choose from, might as well take a lucrative one and. You know, a fitting one. Like, Ooh. it's not all about the money. That's why I'm heavily considering, like, the mana deal as well. Like, we're close with a couple of the Saints members. We're close with a couple of the mana members. We're clo I'm close with a, with a bunch of the company members. Like, it's X-Gang and me and KJ go way back fucking eight years or some dumb shit. Like, that's all comes into perspective, right? So it's not all about the money, it's about the building the relationship as well. But at this point where a lot of people are approaching us to push a shit ton, it's mm. just who you're going with at the end of the day. Darn. Me, uh, let me speak to my boys real quick, alright? One sec. Yeah. Yeah, give it a second. It's gonna start. Yeah, so I don't, like what you're speaking about. Like uh, they offered the same that we're offering. We haven't offered the money. Uh, yeah, the money for nothing at all. I just told them like let's let's spit ball and talk about what's, what's possible. We want to hear you out and see, you know. Also not to him, said he asked me about prices early on the phone. I was like, well, that's yet to be talked about. Like, am I gonna? That's what I, that's what I was confused know? about. I, like, I, I told give him like, like tell, me, tell me whatever they no no. Hold on, also, tell me whatever they offer you, about. and then maybe we can match it, or maybe we can outperform them. You know, it depends on the talk. That's why I called you over here. And, and he said he said it's not just about the money; it's about other things. Like what other things? He's yeah, talking about. He's I mean, it looks like he's buddy uh, buddy with everybody. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. Like he said, he's known a, a KJ for a long time, and he doesn't want to go with the company. Uh, uh. The weird thing is, before, like when I met him first, this is during like the hunting times, right? He told me that he offered to go with them and be part of the company and he declined it because he didn't want to be part of them and this and that do his own thing which is whatever but now like when we're talking about this stuff all i hear is kj and company yeah i don't, I don't know like he, i don't know i don't know what this guy i don't know Got yeah i feel a little, a little odd but i at least wanted to like hear him out though and see so we have info plus we can consider things so why don't we go approach him and be like, okay, what are you looking for? And see what he wants. Yeah, I like that. Because there's a reason why he hasn't said yes to anything yet, right? Exactly. Like if he's getting good deals and he has to share with them in a good way, why wouldn't he not say yes earlier? See what he wants. And if he wants, like, you know, if we can match mm. what he wants or if it works out for us, then maybe. That'd be know? a brand. It's so big dog. Yeah, what up? That's your question. You know, you, you, uh, you've had quite a few offers now. You know, you had all these groups uh, approaching you, asking to sell. Like, yeah. uh, you know, what are you what are you looking for? Why have you not, like, uh, accepted a deal yet? Like, what, what do you want out of this? You know what I mean? Um, the reason I haven't accepted a deal yet is because I'm buying a house purely for the weed. I don't want anything coming back to my main legal house. Um, that's why I haven't bought bulk and said yes to anyone. You're waiting to buy a house first before you go into business? 
Uh, I mean, I got the pretty much got the money. It's just uh, probably today or tomorrow because I Wait, don't so, want. So why would you want the house for the, for this stuff? Isn't it like kind of just fucking yourself? Mm, no, I just want a house for like illegal operations. Oh, just I just don't want store the, stuff. Yeah. Okay. Like if it's weed, if it's fucking car parts, fucking AC units, don't care. Like I'm running my business out of my house, and I don't want. The illegal shit in there. Is that what the other terrorists do as well? They expect you to store it yourself? Um, I mean, they rather sell like bulk, right? So we don't have to re up every time. Mm. So let's say we buy like 1k a day, we just pick up bulk and just store that and distribute it to the pushers. Yeah, I get it. Okay. All right. So, in an ideal world, what what do you what are you looking for? Like, what are the prices you're looking for? What kind of things you want to do? Like, you know, what I'm saying, like, what are you trying to accomplish? Um, just um, I'm assuming y'all have like Pineapple Express as well, right? Yeah. How much does that shit go for on the street per bag? Sixty-seven. All right, so that's pretty much the same shit as everywhere, right? I think uh, up north you make a little bit more, but that's pretty much the same same price as the other two current like offers. Um, I'll have to talk to Sully because he knows the price ranges and exact offers better on the money because I just don't push. I'm still legal for now. Um, of course, money is a factor because I want my boys making money, right? Mm -hmm. We need a bit of the money to push back to the group to buy more shit. So that's definitely a factor. Now, it's not all about the money. It's also about building relations and shit like that. Like if we go into business together, I'm down to offer you guys a deal from like my business side of things. So you get a a discount on my product and shit like that. Even if we don't, I'm down to do that just to build that relation. Because I know y'all need a shit ton, like Fanny and back in future bought like seven or eight large crates in two days. Um, then we're just probably full or close to full already. Y'all running an operation. Like, I recommend fucking toolboxes to store the weeds. Y'all yeah, probably need some of those. So I'm down to, like, give you guys an offer to, you know, build up your shit as well. I just can't say yes or no. I'll have to run it by Sully, what he wants to do. Because at the end of the day, if we take your deal, if we take Saints deal, if we take Mana deal, it's probably a, a difference of, like, I don't know, 200 bucks a brick, if anything. So the money isn't a major factor. It's just who we putting the resources we have in the most, right? Because we can push at three turfs at the same time with, like, efficiency. Right. Because I'm, right. I'm just thinking, like, money-wise, every one of y'all is pretty much offering close to the same thing because the growers has to get paid and... But we have to offer anything. We're just talking about, like, what you've been offered and then we can see what we can do on our end and find a... Yeah. Like a, you know, like a... No, I'm just saying that it's not all about the money. It's about building relations as well. But I just can't say yes yet before I had a talk with Sully and see what he wants to do. Yeah, um, I mean, you're still missing a lot of context too from our side that yeah. would have to be discussed I, and agreed upon too before you make any decision. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so, okay, how about this? Let us know whenever Sully's around and then we can always revisit the topic and mm -hmm. go over things and then we'll see. All right. Also, in regards to like the thing you got going on, right, with your um your furniture, yeah, and storages and shit, like uh, you know, I know you guys have bought a couple, or we bought a couple things with like rolls and shit. Do you guys usually get those cleaned yourself, or do you guys go to somebody? Um, we get it cleaned ourselves, but our cleaning operation is still pretty small. We're okay. sitting at like twelve, thirteen washing machines because we haven't hit the laundry mat yet. Like, we have the butt coin and shit, we just 
not rushing it because we're still stacking a couple of legal guns before we risk getting caught and shit. Uh -huh. Well, if you ever want to do a deal where like maybe we help you with some cleaning and you guys help us with some uh, some furniture, I mean the possibility is always there to work together. So if you guys ever have any ideas, just uh, you know you could always. Um, have some. Yeah, right now I, me personally, like just from the business side, it's really hard for me to accept the dirty, mm -hmm. just because I'm const like on a daily basis. I'm probably reinvesting like eighty k. Just to stock up materials, wood, everything. Um, if I now have to wait on that money for like a day, two, three, four to be cleaned, it's just really hard for me to keep the stock I need. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like maybe we could work together yeah. where we can get your money clean pretty quickly. And then, you know, if more people come to you with rolls and shit, you know, increases your business and overall just ramps up production. You see what I'm saying? That's always a possibility. It's if you want, you know, we could always talk things out and see yeah. if you guys are down for that. No, definitely interested. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of benefits interested. we can provide. It's just there's a lot of different parties involved in our group. So different people that all have to kind of be part of certain conversations, you know. So for now, let's yeah. just uh, think on things. And then whenever Sully's around, we can li link up and talk about more things. And then you also spend some time to think about, you know, what a perfect scenario would look in your mind, you know yeah no, we'll see what's um, i'm definitely interested in working with you guys i told you that like i told you julian like weeks and weeks ago when you said you wanted yeah. to have a meeting um it's just i need to discuss it with sully and yeah, i want him fine. there as well yeah talk to sully and then link up with us and we'll see bro all right brother we're just talking about it, you know we're just brainstorming and thinking see what you know nothing's all decided right, nothing's yeah bro all right thanks for your time nico yeah, be up. Appreciate oh, that's a drive, by the way. Is it good? <laughs> no, it's yeah, pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, bro. Nobody, nobody fucking with that deal right there. I don't know. It seemed, it seemed off to me, you know? Like, am I tripping? Yeah, I mean, it kind of seemed like, you know. He can't, he's coming at us like we need kind of Yeah, exactly, saying? bro. Like, he just kind of seems all over the place. Like, yeah. He's like, yo, you know, I'm, I'm with the company. I've known KJ for He's like, he's like before, years, I can't so, really yeah. give you a yes or no answer. And I'm thinking in my head, motherfucker, we haven't offered you, know. you shit. Yeah. Like, what the fuck you going to say yes or no to? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. It wasn't really saying much, to be honest, because I don't know. Yeah, he, he didn't say anything. All he says is the main thing I got from that is he got to talk to Sully. Talk to him about what? What we having this meeting for then? You see what I'm saying? 